I would like to show three new things that we've added at Territory Design, which is a part of Business Analyst. Uh, three new features, one of them being the how, how you can take territories that you've already created and then quickly bring them into Business Analyst and work with them through the Project Explorer at Business Analyst. Uh, a couple different reports that we've added, and I'll focus on the Compare Territory Design Solutions report. And I will also show how we've added the concept of capacity to creating territories instead of just balancing, which is new at 9.3. And the first thing I'll do is show how we've integrated territories into the Project Explorer and how you can get them out of the Project Explorer and then start working with them. And at 9.2, as a little background, if you did not save a territory solution that you set up, if you went through all that trouble and all that work of doing it, if you didn't save it within a MXD, your territories were essentially lost. All the layering, all of the styling and look and feel were gone. So at 9.3, we've got in the Project Explorer a section for territories. So if you've created a set of territories or some type of solution, you can easily select them, click Update Map, and they'll automatically pop in from your hard drive or network location where you save them into the table of contents and then into the map. So as you can see here in my table of contents, I have two different territories that I've created. All the styling is saved. All the, the, I wanted to create five territories, so it remembered that. It remembered what base layer I started with, which is zip codes. Whereas in 9.2, if I didn't save this in an MXD, all of this would be lost. Another thing that we've added that I mentioned earlier I wanted to discuss is a few new reports at Territory Design 9.3. And one of those is called the Compare Territory Solutions Report. And this, what it does is it essentially compares one territory solution to another. So if I have an old existing territory solution, uh, let's say from 2005, and I want to rebalance it for the 2009 year, it will show me a breakdown of how it's changed, what's the difference, um, is it better or worse than before. Or if this is uh, very good too, is that I can create a territory solution, Tweak just one thing, maybe I want to show how sales volume is compared to maybe a population variable and a different percentage. Produce a report and it's going to show me that difference. So we'll walk through the report right now. We want to compare one to the other, so I'll click my first territory layer, which is in the table of contents, and I can select my other one in the table of contents, or I can navigate to them if they are on my hard drive someplace. Click OK. And then that report's automatically going to generate, and you will end up with, on screen, a Crystal Reports format that we can take to PDF or Word. And what we have here is Solution 1, Solution 2, and then all the comparisons. So here it starts out with parameters. So these are the, the items that we've added. I wanted my territories to be constrained 25 miles for both of them. I've got uh, different variables that were used, such as population. Um, I wanted to use a capacity that my territories shouldn't go out 100 and shouldn't go past 150,000 households, but in the other one I don't use that as a parameter. And then it's going to break down a map so I can see my first territory solution compared to the second and how they differ from a statistics view, from uh, the, the types of variables used. And then at the very end there'll be a chart. Uh, and also we do some type of prescriptive analysis to say that solution one is better than solution two based on a couple different factors. So the next thing I want to discuss at what's new at Territory Design 9.3 is the concept of capacity, which has been introduced um, as far as how you can create territories instead of just balancing them. So here on screen I have five different locations, and let's say we're in the cable industry, and we need to make sure that each of these service locations meets a certain variable or has the meets a capacity of maybe 150,000 households. So as you can see, five different locations and we are meeting or very close to by zip code 150,000 households per each area. But what this shows us is that when we create these territories with just this capacity threshold it actually produces quite a few gaps. So are we meeting our market coverage or uh, do we need to move a location? Do we need to um, 
at a location to meet, to meet our demand. And then the more traditional way of creating territories available in 9.3 would be simply creating them by balancing them. This is where we want to take a look at an overall market and meet our demand that way. So here, if I had those same five locations and I just said, okay, from a household standpoint, I don't care how many there are, they just all have to be equal because I want an equal and incentivized or an equal slate for every single of my, one of my locations. In this case, they're all very, very equal, as you can see in our territory design window down here, but we're all the way up to 300,000 households. So it's just a different way of looking at how you can create territories and how you can create them. And a very good part of this, these features is, is that you can do both. So you can create territories um, with capacity and balancing. You can factor both of them at the same time and produce a solution.